How's it going guys, it's me Renal, and welcome back to another unboxing. If you guys want more unboxings, please like and subscribe, it will help me a lot. We're at 190 subscribers right now and we're almost at 200. I'm gonna unbox this keyboard, the Maggie Gee keyboard. Um, it is a 60% keyboard, star 61 mechanical keyboard. It's a red switch, you know, you see all the stuff right there. Yeah, this is basically the box it comes with. But yeah, uh, let's just jump on in, I guess. Here we go. Um, when you first open the box, you get an instruction. A detachable uh, Type-C cable, ergonomic keyboard, keys, and key roller, multiple lights effect, uh, restore default, FN plus space. There's the function keys. Pause it if you want to like read it. Compound keys, you know. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use the 60% keyboard. You just click FN and to like, you know, click the other stuff. There we go. Yeah. Instructions. Very nice. Very nice. Um, see the keyboard itself. So it comes with a little plastic. Well, it, every keyboard has this wrapping. But yeah. We go there's a keyboard there's a black and gray um, red switch the um the the keys that has the stabilizers doesn't have enough uh, lube though so if you want to buy like cheap keyboard, more cheap keyboard um doesn't come with enough lube in their stabilizers so you would want to get a you know uh if it's hot swappable, uh, you need to buy like a the 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 tool that you can pull the keys out. You know, this comes with a keycap puller and a USB C cable, so you can plug it in. So it is like a detachable wire, I guess. I don't know if there's some um, a thing that you can plug it in, a Type C that will make it uh, wireless or something. I don't know if that technology is invented, but yeah, you need a key keycap puller what i'm talking about is like this um it doesn't have enough lube like on the stabilizers and i don't really have a tool to get this because it is a hot swappable so you can pull it out the keys so you can just pull it out take out the stabilizer and lube it up pull it back in you know but yeah um keycaps are you know plastic it does have like this though like rough edges but it's fine you could sand that or just leave it alone you don't really see it but yeah um put it back yeah you you just need to lube all the the keys that has stabilizers because they will sound like this like every cheap keyboard out there unless they're like they lube it up you know even the keyboard that i review um, the keys was kind of like this, but it wasn't as bad and this one feels like it doesn't even have enough like lube But when I when you lube it up, it, it is gonna be it feels much better It'll feel like this sound, you know, and it doesn't have that like plastic clackety clack Yeah, it doesn't have any feet as You can see but it is like high enough. I guess you can like game on it it, it is high enough i think for me anyways now let's plug it in and we'll see how like the other you know the, the what's the features the light features and how it works and this does have um a lot of um like different light modes this uh, more than uh what i have right now but yeah there's a keyboard it does only have a one light though it's only blue because it's not an rgb but the caps locks you see this it turns off and turns out that means it's uh you know because there's no way to know that if the caps the cap locks is um it's on so without a light it'll be off and with the light it'll be on you know that's something i didn't know that they do but i guess they do that i, I kind of don't like that though it's just my personal op opinion but it does like let you know that it's on or off or whatever fn the arrow keys is right here 
if you just use it yeah, i guess you just click fn and then you use it and then fn to like use the other one you know to use the other the part scroll lock ins home page up delete and you know you just the f9 and the f1 to f12 you just click fn you know i guess you guys know how like to like use it and stuff but yeah uh, we're gonna check out the light mode uh, you click fn there we go this one it's this is the blink let's put it closer um click it again i don't know what this one is I guess it's standard i don't i don't know how it went back but yeah another one see it it goes to the right we do another one it goes to the left kind of or more like a like a spreading out uh click one more time it's a wave that goes to the right another one it crashes in another one this is the one that when you click it spreads out another one this when you click it goes to the side another one this is the one when you click it stays it's pretty cool you can change the speed on that by just pressing this and this you know to slow it down look press it it's not gonna go away for a while you click fn you do this it speeds up the process it goes right away click one more time uh we're back to standard i guess i don't i don't know um this one it's like a snake um it goes to the middle whatever um that uh it goes to the circle the same thing this one it's like tetris or i don't know snake i guess it's the same thing what the heck okay this one another snake that goes around the keyboard the keys i meant um this one it just kind of lights up everywhere it's pretty cool i guess and this one just spread 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 another one just like that go back another one it's like a zigzag the zigzag wave and we're back to yeah we're back we went back but yeah um that was a lot of light mode i think but yeah i don't the the keyboard responds well you know it's a detachable you know it, it is on the left side rather than being in the middle the one that i have because that that's like more better because it is on the side the cable goes to the side you know um yeah it responds well oh we're still on the yeah like i said it the keys responds well it works nice um it's a good keyboard the downside is it doesn't have enough lube most cheap ones doesn't uh like doesn't even have a lube this one's like it's oily but it's not you know like it's not lubed up so it, you you will uh, notice the sound like that like that's how it comes with so, those are the only one with like the stabilizers you know it's like really hard but the keys it's fine you know you could work with that but yeah it's a good keyboard you just need to loop it up if you guys have like a loop or whatever but if you don't i guess it'll be fine i don't know if that will bother you but it does like so you can hear it will make that sound And the only way to get rid of that is to just lube it. You need to buy some tools, you know, to like try to lube it or whatever. But overall, it's a pretty good keyboard. I'll give it a B, maybe an A minus because it, it is good. It's compact. You could bring it everywhere. But the downside is the, the lubing. It just doesn't have any lube. So you just do that. You just need to do that and then it'll sound great. You, you will have a good keyboard, I guess. But yeah, the lighting, you know. This one's kind of faded, the lock on the windows, but you know, it is what it is. It is a cheap keyboard. Uh, oh yeah, the light to like make it lower, it's just this. The caps locks doesn't lower down because it is like a cops caps lock and you'll never know if it's on or off. But yeah, um, 
yeah i don't really know what to say anymore just a minus you just need to lube it i mean that i guess that's every like cheap keyboard that you can find you know it doesn't have enough lube and whatnot if you guys like this video like and subscribe i'll probably um do more um unboxing i'm probably gonna I, i'm gonna earn enough money to get a new graphics card so i'm gonna re i want to review that because i want to like you know swap out my old graphics card books because it is you know it's it's time i want more fps I, I don't want to play my game in low settings because i do like do that low settings sometimes just you know it m makes it smoother but it is it's still like you know you can still see the like, the goodness of the game yeah i'm probably gonna end up selling this because i don't really need another keyboard and no one wants to take it in the house um but i am gonna yoink this though i would do a giveaway but you know it um i don't know how to ship and all that stuff i, mean, I guess i can figure it out but it, uh, it will cost me but yeah i don't know just like and subscribe i guess um if we make it through a thousand i'm probably gonna give it away i don't know if it's still not bought i'm probably gonna if we uh make it to a thousand i'll give it away i guess i don't know we'll see uh, it's not a promise all right I'm probably not gonna do it anyways, but for a thousand, if it's not bought, if I, you know, if I'm like the time I'm like recording this video, it's still not uh, have no one has like buy this off of me. I'm probably just gonna give it away if I if I make it to a thousand. I'll remind you guys in like every um, every video I make, I guess. Like also on Twitch, I um, I stream on Twitch. Check it out. I do a lot of Genshin. I I do. GTRP. I'm a trucker. I just got hired. You know, I I, I get um, paid uh, three three k. Well, I get uh oh yeah three k from the guy, and then a government pays me like five five hundred six hundred. But yeah, good keyboard, but no lube. But yeah, it's great overall. Just the lubing. You just need to lube. Lubing uh lubing it. It's easy enough to do. You just you know find the video how to do that but yeah like i said if you guys like it like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys to the flip side